Okay, so I'll try to make a long story short. So back in 2016 when I was in college, I had a scholarship in track and that was that's what was paying for my college. And long story short, I went up losing that scholarship and I had to come to a decision where I was like, well, I didn't, you know, I didn't join college to rack up on loans, you know. So I had to look to different out other sources. So my pops told me like, hey, you know, if you ever join the military, join the Air Force. So I'm like, all right, I'll look into it. And I did. So after a while looking into it, I'm like, yeah, I can, I can, you know, I can make something out of this. And it'll get me out of this hole that I'm in. So I, you know, wind up joining back in 2017. And, I, you know, I haven't looked back since. Uh, I've been in for about two and a half years now, and I just put on a senior airman about a month ago, something like about a month ago. Most people just call it, refer to us as weather, but it sounds cooler when you say weather technician when someone asks. So, yeah, I'm a weather technician. Oh, and the uh, AFSC is 1W0X1. Absolutely not. I got reclassed into weather. I was originally um, cyber transport and I got that before I joined in, you know, before I uh, went to basic. I already knew what my job was and everything. It, you know, it's cyber transport. I, I can't even tell you all it was. You're just some kind of IT guy. Either way, I went, I did three months of that. It didn't work out because I couldn't keep up. Got reclassed into weather, which was even about as hard, if not harder. No. So, <laughs> like I said, um, when I initially joined, I already had the job that I initially wanted, but I couldn't do it because it was just way harder than I thought. So I got reclassed into weather, which is just as hard, if not harder, but longer as well. So, no, <laughs> this is not something I wanted to do. However, on the outside, now that I'm like actually, actually doing my job, I have no regrets and I enjoy it. So. To be honest, I kind of like, I wanted to do finance. I think I would have been cool in there because I just, I just like numbers, you know, and um, either that or like computer programming or anything like that, you know, something that I can, I can see myself doing on the outside, essentially. So I just like numbers. So that was something that I would uh, wish I could have did, but beggars can be choosers. You just got to roll with what you got. I joined, I did a four year because I was not sure. I had to be sure, like... All right, if I do this, let me like give uh make sure my options are you know I don't want to get stuck in a six contract a six year contract and be like dang I should have did a four or, you know whatever the case so I did four to you know really take it on as, as like far as like okay can I can I see myself doing this so uh, my tech school was in Keesler Air Force Base uh, in Biloxi Mississippi so the the base is beautiful like the the base is beautiful, you know, uh, and it's right next to the beach. Don't go inside the beach because you might not come out the same. Tech school was about eight months. It can be longer if you wind up getting washed back for whatever courses, and you know, you could be up there. It could be up to almost a year or ten months, maybe, depending on you know how long they hold you back with the wash back. So, yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, no, I absolutely hated tech school. It was the worst. <laughs> it was the worst time I've ever had in my life because, you know, there are some tech schools where they treat you like adults or like it's, al it's almost like college oriented. Like they treat you, you know, like adults, not their Keesler. And um, the reason why it was so bad, and you can ask anybody this who was in weather and in tech school now, they can vouch for it, like the way it's set up. Um, you have different squadrons with different jobs in them, and in each squadron, in our specific squadron, the, I think it's the 335th, I think, I think there was five different uh, jobs. So there's, there's finance, there's personnel, there's P-mail, admin, and then there's weather, which is us. And out of all those five, we're the longest, of course. And think of it like this, you got these people, and this isn't giving any hash to any, you know, personnel or admin or anything, but just keep, just think of it like this. So we got these people who are who are personnel and admin, they come in for only a month. It, it barely, if that, maybe, it's probably like three weeks or something like that. And there would have been a lot of incidents where if anybody messed up, it would affect every single body. 
Like, if for the most part, it was personnel or the admin people who were only there for a few weeks, so they don't really give a damn as far as, like, you know, if they get in trouble, because they're going to be gone within the next week. So they going to do their dirt. They It's like it's set up like this. They're going to do the dirt while they're there, and then they're just going to leave it behind because they're going to be gone, and then it's just like a, a rotating system, and it keeps happening. But guess who has to endure all of that? The weather people who's there for eight months and they punish everybody. It's not just one, it's everybody. So we have to take on all that bull plus the studying that's there and just more of just being treated like a child. So yes, tech school <laughs> sucked. Tech school was the worst time. I was just the worst time for me. I, I would never, ever want to go back to tech school. <sighs> Glad I got that out of my system. Oh no, nah, dude, we can we can go anywhere. I mean, weather's like you need weather pretty much anywhere. Where you know whatever whatever base you know you got going on. So that's a cool thing. You know, weather is literally any station that's a station, army base, military, you know, uh, marine or anything. So yeah. Okay, so um, I guess the the way to explain it, well. Keep in mind, like, there's two things when it comes to my job. Like, you can end up either at a weather station, which is where I'm at, or you could end up in the hub. And essentially, we do the same job because we're both, you know, we're both weather, but our duties are com pretty different from, from each other. Uh, I'll try to summarize what the hub does for the most part. Um, they pretty much have a certain region of the U.S. that they have to cover. And, you know, when it comes to weather, they're the ones who, uh, you know, they'll get phone calls from, like, different pilots from whatever, you know, as long as it's within their region, spe that specific region, then they, uh, they take care of any, uh, any of the pilots' requests for whatever weather, you know, is to be expected within just this certain region of, like, you know, the, uh, the U.S. Now, granted, like, different hubs, you got different sets of regions, but you're specifically set for just that. Now, with us, at the weather station, what I do, I specifically worry about, in my case, because I'm stationed at Barksdale, I, I work with B-52 pilots day in and day out, and they, um, they come in, request, you know, uh, they'll usually just request weather, depending on, you know, whether it's mission related or if it's airfield. On the mission side, when it comes to B-52 pilots, you know, we, we brief them wherever they're going. The thing is, is like, they can go wherever they choose to. If I'm forecasting, you know, for takeoff conditions here, and they're going all the way up to Alaska, guess what? I'm forecasting from here all the way to Alaska. That's just the way it is. And wherever else they're going, where, you know, anywhere within the U.S., I can be forecasting for it. And uh, that's just mission, uh, that's solely mission related. Now, as far as the airfield, we're... That's um, that's where we still at the weather station. We uh, focus on just like uh, any possible outcomes for like any storms, you know, that could potentially have hail, any tornadoes, or you know, any wind advisories or anything like that. You know, it's our job to you know warn, pretty much warn the base and like give them upcoming like, hey, expect this, you know, to come in around this time, uh, and then you know, and this is how bad it's gonna be. I think that's um, for the most part, that's what we do day in and day out. You know, there are days where, you know, obviously if there's not a cloud in the sky and there's no wind, guess what? You're not gonna, you ain't gonna have much to be doing. I mean, obviously we have SOPs on things we have to take care of on a daily, but for the core of your job, you're not really gonna have much to do because there's no weather going on. But when there's weather going on, oh, trust and believe, you better be ready. So yeah. I'll be honest, like when it comes to this specific career, it's not for the weak minded. Decision making is is key when it comes to, you know, weather because you you're not gonna be right hundred percent of the time. But keep that in mind and everybody else knows that you don't have to be right hundred percent of the time. But as long as you know and you have confidence in what it is that you're saying, that's the main goal as far as like weather. Now <sighs> Let me tell you this now, when you're in tech school, it's not really going to seem like that. But trust and believe the teachers, they know, or the, the instructors, they know that they're just trying to push you out so that you can go see what it's really like. Because in tech school, it's very black and white. But when you get into the outside world, it's, it's the total opposite. It's completely gray. And you'll realize that as you progress in tech school, it's not black and white. So... Be strong-minded, be confident in what it is that you're saying and what it is that you're speaking. That way, um, you know, you look good when you're doing your job. You don't have to be 100% right, like I said again, but 
as long as you speak with confidence and you know stay firm in what it is that you say and believe and just go from that you'll you'll do fine honestly you just it's all about the right decision making like with confidence just be confident in what it is that you're saying you can just follow me on my instagram which is kevon a murray uh you know i post videos every once in a while i have my own youtube but it's all linked there so just go follow my instagram you'll see what i'm about and what i do all right cool